Spellman at the top of the key. Left wing now, Stefan Baxter. Top of the key for Cody Greenalch. He'll swing it around the corner for Baxter. He'll fire a three. It's good. Baxter picking up right where he left off. Gilpin back to Spellman in the corner. That's a three, and that's good for Jeff Spellman. Rebound Spence. Spence on the move for Bates. Ahead for Mortimer. Mortimer looking to drive. Tough shot off balance. No good. Spence a nice offensive rebound. Out to Greenalch. Right wing for three. Yes. Cody Greenalch for three. He's got six, and the Bobcats lead by nine. And then Spence knocks the pass out of bounds into the bleachers. The Mariners. Gilpin strips Anderson. Greenalch on the move. To the left wing, bounce pass Snotty underneath. Snotty one move to his left, layup, good, score it, and the foul. Greenalch on the move, Greenalch drops it off for Spence. Top of the key, Gilpin for three, yes. Nick Gilpin, the Bobcats extend their lead to 33 to 18 with 6.15 to go, first half against the Mariners. Spellman has it left wing, over to Greenalch, top of the key, NBA range, three, it's good for Cody Greenalch. And the Bobcats lead 36-18 with 4.55 remaining first half. Who's their leading scorer, averaging 17 points per game. They get it underneath, and the Bobcats broke it up, and here comes Cody Greenalch on the move. Over to Gilpin, right wing for Baxter. Baxter drives, kicks in the corner for Spellman, left wing for Spence. Spence looks to drive, Raheem Spence all the way, layup, good! Nice take, Raheem Spence. The senior off the SAR screen. Bounce pass, Sar, layup, good. 45 to 20, Bates. Finds coin, curling, top of the key, three, yes! 51 first half points for the Bobcats. Mortimer drives, Mortimer into the lane, got it. 61-24, Bobcats with 15-25 remaining. Short jumper, no good, rebound Spence. Ahead for Collins, overthrew it a bit, but Collins able to save it, and he launches a corner three, and that one's good. Collins keeps shooting, and he knocks that one down, 72-29, Bobcats. The Navigators, who played at halftime, a Special Olympics club, the Navigators love Billy Lehart here off the bench at the line for two. The first one is good. Spence hands off Akinyemi. Akinyemi off the screen from Riley. Akinyemi to his right. Down low for Riley. Layup. Good. Cam Riley on the board. And the Bobcats lead 82 35 with 546 left. Akinyemi on the move for Bates. Akinyemi drives. Layup. Good. Nice take, David Akinyemi. Left wing, Gobiel. Gobiel dribbles and Iwowo knocks it away. Iwowo on the break. Iwowo throws it down. Jacob Iwowo, the steal and the slam, and the crowd loves it. Hands off Lehart. Lehart to Akinyemi, back to Lehart. They give and go, left guard. The Navigators love it. Lehart has three points here tonight. Billy, you got a huge ovation from the Navigators when you came in the game. Tell us about your relationship with them. Well, the Bates Special Olympics Club, uh, awesome group we have here at Bates. And I was really happy we were able to get this, this night uh, prepared for these guys tonight. Uh, we did a soccer halftime game in the fall. Uh, you know, they're just an awesome group. The Special Olympics are really, you know, encapsulate everything that sports should be about. And, you know, we're really proud that we have a partnership with the Navigators here at Bates. They're a great group. When did you first get involved with the relationship with the Navigators? My freshman year, actually. I yeah. was at the club fair, uh, and I was approached by... Adelaide, who was on the field hockey team, and got involved. We did soccer practices, basketball. Uh, we're really involved with that group. They also do like a ton of community service in the you know Lewiston Auburn area. So uh, you know, being a part of that group and having other volunteers at, at Bates get involved has uh, been a really special part of my Bates experience. How did it yeah. feel to hear that loud ovation when you checked in? It felt great. I knew I knew it was them. You know, they they really have my back, and and you know we have theirs. So it, it's really awesome to have. All of them come out for th this game and show them a win and stuff, have them involved. It was, it was really special. When you were in high school, did you do anything with the Special Olympics, or was this kind of new for you when you arrived at Bates? This was, this was new for me. Yeah. I, a little bit. There were a few opportunities, you know, as I grew up through, you know, community youth sports, things like that. Uh, but what I saw that, that Bates had, uh, you know, this opportunity laid out for students to get involved with Special Olympics, I had to take advantage. And, uh, you know, as this, events like this are awesome for, for the program because, you know, students who come out to support our team can see how good of a time it is. And, uh, you know, it just adds to uh, how great of a time it is for everybody. And obviously getting some playing time. Nice give and go there with David. That was really special. Yeah, David had, he had my back right there. Everybody got involved there at the end. Those are the types of wins that, you know, really are just so much fun to be a part of. Uh, you know, 1 through 15, we have guys ready to step up. 
Um, you know, everybody supports each other. So I'm really excited to see what we got in this home stretch of the season. I think we're going to do something really special. Sounds good, Billy. Yeah. Thanks so much. Hey, great to be here. Victory. Real yeah, pleasure. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Bobcats winners, 88-42 over Maine Maritime. Really fun game here tonight.